How's it going everybody? It's your boy homie G and I'm back. This video is all about how to end the school year like a boss. Yeah. All right. So I know what you're thinking. You got a month and a half, two months left, depending on where you are. It's time to let your foot off the accelerator and just cruise to the end of the year. Wrong. Let me tell you why that's the wrong course of action. First, your teachers know you, okay? And they've seen you work in class daily, perhaps. And all of a sudden, to decide not to do work anymore, to decide to misbehave, or just be apathetic, meaning like not caring, they're going to notice that. Look, I get it. You're tired. You know, the year's been long. Or perhaps maybe it's even gone fast. Whatever it may be. But now you're thinking, end of the year, yeah, time to finish, uh, you know, and just kind of cruise. Because you know what? Teachers don't care anymore. They're also winding down. They're also tired. But that's not true. Teachers do care. They still very much care. And they want you to be as the normal person that they've known you to be through the last day of school. Okay? So changing how you behave and changing what you do in class is the wrong course of action. Remember also that teachers uh, are asked to recommend kids for awards and certificates at the end of the year. So they're going to want to keep in mind the kids who have been good throughout the end of the year. And if you start to slack off at the end of the year, just because it's winding down, they may not give you that recommendation. Okay. So you're going to want to finish the year strong. All right. So that's one or two ways, right? What else can you do? Okay. Socially. How about socially with your friends? You want to end on a good note. You don't want to start, you know, pissing off people. Sorry to say that word, but you don't want to start being a jerk to everybody uh, toward the end of the year. Cause that's how they'll remember you. They'll remember you as the kid who was a jerk or just, you know, never grew as a person, never matured, whatever grade you happen to be in, you know, you all start out at a certain maturity level, but then you kind of, you know, you're supposed to grow as a person and you're supposed to be better, uh, more mature, um, especially guys, especially with girls, right? They expect you not to be that same kid that started out at the beginning of the school year, you know, uh, being annoying. They expect you to be more mature because they're more mature than you are, most likely. Um, Age-wise, they're the same, but we know girls are more mature um, sometimes, not all the times. So, you know, you're going to want to show some growth, okay? Not desperation because the end of the year is coming and you're going to be bored at home with nothing to do because your parents won't let you get out of the house or whatever, um, you're going to want to end, you know, on a, on a better note, meaning you're more mature, you're more cool. You don't, you know, react to all the nonsense kids throw at you. You know, you don't just get crazy and, and, uh, and overreact at things. You're more mellowed out because that's showing maturity. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, ending the year also perhaps courting a girl or courting a boy, that'd be not necessarily a bad thing um by what i mean by that is you know you trying to like hook up with a girl or a girl a girl or a boy uh and hey buddy my son's here hello <laughs> and you know why uh i'm making a homie g video <laughs> hi why because <laughs> Uh, um, you are going to not have the same people anymore day in and day out at the school. You're going to be alone and, you know, having someone to call and text or whatever and maybe even ask to hang out with you, that would be a nice thing, right? That would be a, a, a pretty cool thing. So dating someone before you leave, um, especially if you're, you know, 8th, ninth, 10th grade, um, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. Now, if you're a senior and you're going off to college, forget it. Don't even go there. Don't even waste your time trying to date someone before the end of the year because uh, you're going to go somewhere far or away and it's going to be a brand new fishbowl, right? With a lot of different people. So I only suggest that for kids who are coming back to the school and, you know, 
um, if you're wanting to do that. I don't even know if your parents would let you, but if they do, you know, trying to date someone before the end of the year, that would be a nice thing. That'd be cool, especially if you built up um, a credibility with this person and you've, and you've um, you know, you've been nice to them and whatever, and, and maybe they like you now after the whole six, seven months of you trying. Um, <laughs> stop it. So that would be cool. All right, so those are some ways to end the school year like a boss. Uh, if you have any additional things you want to ask me, go ahead just leave the leave the message below and of course i'll make a video just for you all right i'm out everybody say we out <laughs>